Well, hello there, YouTube. We're about to go for a ride on a roadster. Get these mirrors so I can see out of them first thing here. So, let's see. Are we all the way on? Oh, I'm, I'm on the accessory. Might be a little longer to throw now. <laughs> Your, uh, this. Oh, your info screen, yeah. Tachometer wow, it has a different feel when it idles, too. That's kind of weird. Wow, that's... I'm anxious to see your opinion, because Big Joe said he definitely felt like it had more power than the regular 48 12 weather, so... Wow. Know, maybe scaring or something? Yeah. Give me a report. I will. I don't even have my sunglasses with me. Oh man. Wow, it has a totally different feel when it's idling. That kind of freaked me out. Oh yeah. Man, I thought these bars were gonna be really weird feeling, but they're they're actually not. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kelly just keeps shaking her head. She's thinking to herself, disaster is is awaiting here. But she seems to be totally cool with it. And I've got passenger pegs, default, come with it on there. So when I get the rolling, I can jump into them. I could see where somebody was really long-legged, this would be a... Uh, these bars could be a little weird. They do have an odd feeling to them, but... I'm not quite sure what I think of that. I am totally squidding out here. All my stuff is in my uh, in my street glide. Wow, the suspension feels amazing. I can't believe how far off the ground I feel on this thing. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> wow. I have to say. Despite the the look of the seat looking like it would be horrendously uncomfortable um, for you know two minutes or <laughs> whatever sitting on it feels good. Oh, yeah, she's got some. Uh, wow, it's got the smoothest delivery. I'm I'm shocked that the engine feels different. The suspension would be awesome. It's so high off the ground, it's man freaking tastic. <laughs> Freaks me out how tall it is. It's awesome. Yeah. I feel like I need to play customer, you know. <laughs> it's a weird feeling. When you do this for a living and then you have to play customer. You know, I have this weird feeling like I'm riding uh, like an old uh, board racer or something. The way the bars are kind of pointing down. I can't say I don't like it, but I'm, I'm not sure if I like it. it it's all cool. They, uh, they feel feel pretty wide like you could just manhandle this gal so in my daily vlog I, I think I mentioned it on but I spotted the thing. I, Kelly and I were just walking around I go bing there she is you know it was wedged in a bunch of bikes out there and uh, I really did not think I was gonna like this red like I do it is amazing gorgeous just did not think i'd like it he sent me pictures of it it's beautiful and everything like, eh, no, you know I'll, I'll be i'll definitely be black i'm telling you it's the weirdest thing first gear feels much lower than the other 1200s i've owned and the uh, general manager said he rode this thing he goes he swears they've done something to the motor because he rode a 48 in this back-to-back -back and he says this thing definitely had noticeable 
difference in performance. Yeah, I, I, I almost feel like the handlebars are, are pointing down too low or something. It's like they're just been spun back. I know that's a style and everything, and, and it, it feels amazing. I'm sure it's just something you get used to. The air coming off of it's nice and clean. Oh, and you just have that absolute tractor torque of a, of a Harley. And just that sound and that feeling, there's nothing like it absolutely nothing like it many have tried they all fail oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> she's not sure what to think of me I know that feeling when you're taking somebody for a ride you just don't know can barely see that maybe the polarizer or something but I can barely see that dash I wonder if it has a I'm sure it probably has a contrast adjustment to it man the suspension it, this is not like riding any sports that you've ever ridden and I mean we haven't done anything yet but I can just tell you right now this is totally totally different Love the the additional clearance of everything. She's stunningly beautiful. I'm gonna cut in front of you. Rob didn't think I had gone this route before, but uh, there was an accident on the freeway, so he took me this route on the very street glide that I'm riding now. If you guys look back at that video. Yeah, see the dash is it's a uh, it's changing for ambient light or something. But at certain, certain times, it's kind of hard to see. But I bet you can adjust that. This thing is amazing. <laughs> this thing's incredible. Oh, man. I don't know. The, uh... The poor old iron, she may, she may have some competition here. I don't know if I'm willing to uh, swing. <sighs> Paying for both of them. I don't know. I really like this thing. It just feels so rock steady. Them nice radial tires, they just kind of flow real nice. That's a standard street glide she's riding. It's weird to see the small... Oh, look at that, that huge sunken manhole and it just absorbed that fantastically. seeing no no issues with the seat at all man it just looks like it would have no no cushion to it at all <laughs> it's wonderful i'm afraid she's going to turn on me again without turns it seeing the old tachometer up there is kind of cool stock uh, exhaust sound of you can hear valve train noise but you just know you're riding the you just know you're riding the sports car that's all oh man fifth gear's like a freaking overdrive oh 60 at about 27 28 that's 
say about 27 and a half to be exact. Wow, oh man, you just don't, you don't feel anything on the freeway. There's no typical sportster buck going on, going down the freeway. And man, and that's right, I don't know if you guys can see them little slots they cut in there. Those things will just kick the heck out of you. Or ride in them on purpose. Oh yeah. Oh man, even at that low RPM, you just slightly touch the throttle and she just pulls. Torquey, torquey, torquey. Wow, this thing is crazy cool. So, here's exit 111. Do I proceed with this thing? Or do I do the smart thing and walk away? <laughs> We can talk a little. I'd say she's gonna pass this exit, but she's not. Wow, I really, really like this. The tank with the lower dash and the lower bars, the tank almost looks like it's been uh, raised. And has that raised look to it, the old walnut tank. But it's not. I was looking, uh, kind of comparing it to a, a uh, iron that was sitting there, and uh, same thing. No, uh, no numbness coming through the bars. That's always important for a motorcycle that it doesn't tickle your hands into going numb. The little LCD thing there is kind of cool. Fantastic. Looks like an iron 883 right chonder. Wish she's gonna want me to park this thing. I never know what to do when we get back. Exhaust is so funky sounding. God, this thing is fantastic. Oh, yep, yeah, the old rear pegs are in the perfect spot as usual. I didn't even test them out. I was having so fun, so much fun, right? I didn't even think about getting off of off of the mid pegs. little wife is at. This was fantastic. Can't believe I left an accessory mode like a like a noob. Like how many sports have I had? Is that thing sick? I don't know why people think that motor's ugly. I think it's absolutely fantastic. That thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you very much. Love it. That thing's so nice. That's the nicest Sportster I've ridden for sure. Fantastic. I love how the suspension, you don't get the typical sportster, you know, hold on for life feeling, you know. Wow. Yeah. That thing is amazing. All right. Well, thanks for uh, coming along for that test ride. Oh, God, do I like that motorcycle.